Mayor, and I'm from Leanne Mayor Music. Uh, as far as disabilities and including people with disabilities with music, I, I think music is a universal language. Um, feeling the music, dancing, being able, to, being able to express yourself is very important to me. Um, I love when people come in and dance at my shows. Um, I love meeting new people, so that's uh, how I support people with disabilities. Just everybody, including everyone, and everyone having fun. I'm going to clap, and you guys don't have to. I'm, just, I'm easily impressed. Yeah, great claps for everything. It's awesome. If you need him to get everything started, just get him in your audience. Don't be my business, thanks. <laughs> When it comes to the events that I put on, Mo Mondays, anything that has to do with practice, your level of physical ability, honestly, it doesn't matter. If you've got a story to share, we'll find a way to get it out there. You know, when I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy all those years ago, I figured out that if I used my laptop computer, that was my extension of myself. You know, we've had people on our stage that are four-way amputees that didn't need my help to get on stage. And I can barely tie my shoelaces. So it's, if you've got a story, if you've got a way, a means to express yourself, we're living in one of the greatest ages as well. Like, with my awful vision and the you know, issues I have with my own hands, I wouldn't be that useful in the 17th century. I'll fully admit that. <laughs> I'd be the hood ornament on the chariot. But this is an age where we can use technology to help extend ourselves and express ourselves. So my big focus is getting people to share their stories and getting the right technology for folks as well. That's just a disability or ability, and it kind of goes both ways. So when it comes to how I add value to the community of London as a Paralympic athlete, um, what's my business, what's my brand, all that, what it really comes to is um, accessibility and being able to uh, outreach and connect and network with other people. As a Canadian Paralympic athlete, I've played on sports teams in sledge hockey, I've played on summer and then I've gone to the Paralympics for wheelchair racing. Um, in sledge hockey, I've played all the way up to the provincial level and then in the international level in the summer game. So I can connect very many people with absolutely all aspects. I know coaches in all countries around the world. I know coaches in all provinces around Canada as well as all states in, the Amer in, the, in America. Um, so connection is really where I can offer a lot. Aside from that, I'm really trying to build my motivational brand as a speaker. Um, I feel like I have a lot to offer for, our, for, uh, for the youth, uh, for millennials, and as well as for, for everybody at any stage in their life. Whether it's PTSD or whether it's a uh, new disability, whether it's a diagnosis, whether it's cancer, everything. Um, my message has always been, what changes? Like, if somebody wrote something down on a piece of paper, but you still woke up three days ago feeling the same as you do today, mm -hmm. arguably. Women. Okay. And uh, women are very important, too. <laughs> We're going to go with that. I'm going to look so bad with Mikey. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's, it's really about, it's really about um, uh, what changes and, and being happy with yourself and mental health as well as physical health. Um, I'm going on long, longer than 30 seconds, but just being uh, able to meet people that you need to and feel good about the things you're doing. Yeah, but you're still you again. Because you're still here at the end of the day, and yeah, you can, uh, no matter what your, your ability, you can still accomplish what you'd like to, especially in the age we are in. Absolutely, man. Uh, so I'm, I'm just stunned by the, uh, the people who I'm standing up here with and the amazing stories and the things that everybody does and what their aspirations and ambitions are. Um, 
I'm the casual athlete. You know, my, my whole thing is fitness for the rest of us. You know, for, for the people who can't get into the gym, that's who I'm there for. For people who have been let down by a gym, that's who I'm there for. I'm here to enhance people's wellness and their spirit, the thing that motivates them at the deepest level. I'm there to support that. I'm here to support a person's body, help you be the physical being that you are. And I'm here to help you mentally so I can educate and build your brain, build your neurology so you can be your perfect, natural state where it's not you're living up to somebody else's expectations, but you're living to be the person who you always knew you could be, whether it be people told you you can't or whether it be people told you you can. I am there to make sure that your natural state is found. And that's what I'm trying to do for my life. Hey guys, my name's Josh Brown. I'm a buyer specialist with the St. DeSelves Houses team. I'm just representing Matt right now. He's uh, gone for a coaching call to better himself, as we all do on the team. Um, I guess the most obvious way that we help out um, accessibility and whatnot is, is, is finding home in what you need. But the, what people don't usually realize with real estate, and especially with the St. DeSelves Houses team, is that we, we network. The resources that we have, it's not just about finding your home, it's about having that next call you need to make, uh, whether it be fitness, whether it may be event planning or music or it is, you know, networking, it just we have those those resources. Um, Santa Sells Houses team right now is, is starting to become more of an information platform for London. And that's how we are trying to help better London, whether it be for accessibility or really anything. It's it's finding local, it, it's building a product and it's being an information platform for a lot of things. It's not just about housing. Uh, obviously housing is the main form, it's how we put food on our plates, but we want to be that, that, what we've been talking about tonight, network, right? Um, and that's what these events are amazing about and we're, we're extremely happy to be here and I'm actually happy that I got a chance to talk because I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> What's your name? Again, it's Josh Brown. Hi, Josh. Hello. Thanks for the compliment on my hair, by the way. You have great Matt, hair. Matt usually gets the compliment, so it's that fact that he did it in front of him was amazing. David, Desjardins. My name is David Dudzik. I'm with Desjardins Financial. Uh, again, every day we wake up is a new adventure for all of us. Whether you're a millennial or a baby boomer, it's 2017. Uh, with the internet's help and everyone being speaking, we're making awareness to you know, mental health, health, wellness, uh, making that a reality. People that have put from the past have done that by themselves, taking care of themselves, maybe not. Uh, our health, now if we move to the other end of the spectrum, there's physical diseases, there's programs out there, the CCAC, BON, Boys and Girls Club. My role, I like to stay in with the research on that to help the families. Most of the time that I'm involved, the situation is upon itself. We all like to prepare for something, but we're always strong like bull and not, nothing's going to help us or hurt us. So my, you know, there's stresses on the family, all the peripheral that happens that people don't even think about because they're already addressing the issue at present. So I like to at least have that knowledge, be able to help someone and say, listen, I've been there. Fortunately, my family's been there. Chances are everybody listening right now has been to a funeral, will go to a funeral in the future, or worse, have to watch a loved one suffer. So again, today isn't gonna show how many clicks we get or how many likes, but if everyone in turn just goes and talks to your doctor, talks to your advisor and says, where are these credits, or what can I do, or I have some kind of illness, whether we can see it or not, it's gonna help yourself more. Yes. I do have a, a uh, question. Uh, first of all, it's probably a big mistake putting the mic in my hand. <laughs> Could go on for a while. But nevertheless, I just want to commend each of you for coming forward today and chatting. Uh, Laura and I are uh, Greg's parents, and uh, I've worked in a, both of us have worked in the professional fields, and so often uh, we try to put uh, round pegs in square holes and that doesn't work very well. And uh, 
I, I just can't say enough about uh, you folks up here uh, applying your skills to the right places, and you have such uh, such a lot to give. Uh, uh, David, on uh, for you. Uh, there's a great deal of stress that takes place with uh, families when they're dealing with an uh, individual that have a disability. Um, how do you see uh, your plan, your services assisting uh, individuals that are stressed from the uh, work as a caregiver? Uh, because we have many out there, as you know, that suffer from uh, the inability to be able to function within their own lives because of all the hard work they're doing for others. What can you uh, help us out with there? So just like mental awareness maybe a few years ago was not really talked about, the new end of the spectrum, the new illness is caregiver stress. This is the non-professional one. So you have the VON, the CCAC, the nurses, professional doctors and nurses, that's their job at work, but they have hearts and lives, and that hurts. But when you're, a, when you're taking care of a family relative, your mother, your wife, an aunt, a grandmother, you have a, bills have to be paid somehow. So again, when we go into all that, you might have to take off work. There's research right now being conducted up at Western that is allowing access programs, you know, have allowing non-professional caregivers connect.